Hello, I'm Sela Deb. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is called The Big Bang. It's a story about the birth of the universe. I hope you will enjoy the video. At the end of the story, there is an activity for completing as a group, as well as a cut and paste activity that students can complete to create their own story of the birth of the universe. Also, at the very end, there's my contact information. So I hope you stay tuned to the very end of the video. The Big Bang, a Montessori story for the birth of the universe. Written by Celeste Audin, illustrated by Gloria Stanley. When you were outside today and looked around, you probably noticed that our world is a beautiful place. Mountains, rivers, lakes and streams, clouds, rain, and many other living things are everywhere. At night, our sky is filled with millions of twinkling stars and the moon which shines down upon us. We know there are eight planets and three dwarf planets that rotate around our star, the sun, in our solar system. Our solar system is just a tiny part of the Milky Way galaxy. The Milky Way galaxy has more than 100 billion stars in it. Way out in space, there are billions of other galaxies with billions more stars. Together, these galaxies make up the universe. But the galaxies have not always existed. This book is about what came before. In the beginning, there was nothing. No space, no time. Into the darkness, there appeared a tiny speck of light. It was incredibly hot, hotter than hot. All of space was contained inside this tiny fireball. Suddenly, there was a big bang. It was the very beginning of time. The cosmic clock began to tick and space began to expand. The baby universe continued to expand for billions of years. During this time of expansion, space was expanding faster than the speed of light. Then the baby universe was made up of pure energy only. No matter existed yet. The universe continued to expand in all directions. As it expanded, it cooled and created tiny particles called matter and antimatter. These two types of fast moving particles were arch rivals and as they bumped into each other, they obliterated one another. The universe was a war zone between matter and antimatter. As the matter and antimatter collided, they broke into even tinier particles that formed a hot liquid. This liquid was so hot that the particles flowed very easily within it, releasing more and more energy. It was so hot that the particles did not stick together. Billions of years passed, the universe cooled, and it became dark once again. It became colder than cold. So the particles began to stick together, forming the first atoms of hydrogen and helium. The first stars were born. The first stars were unstable. They shone brightly until they burned themselves out. As this was happening, new elements were being created in the cores of these stars. When these stars exploded, they sent clouds of dust containing new elements and gases out into the universe, and within these clouds, new stars formed. Then, the debris from the clouds began to swirl around the new stars that were created, and new galaxies and planets were formed. One of these new stars 
was our sun. It is at the center of our Milky Way galaxy. Within our galaxy, there are eight planets and three dwarf planets. One of these planets is our own beautiful planet Earth. The young Earth had no air, water, trees, or people. Its surface began to cool, but the inside core was still very hot. Heavy metals, iron and nickel, sank to the very center of the Earth, while lighter gases, such as helium, hydrogen, and water vapor, rose to the surface to create Earth's first atmosphere. In the beginning, our Earth looked nothing like the giant marble that astronauts see from outer space today. It was a very unstable, inhospitable place. The outer surface, called the crust, had many volcanoes that continually erupted, spewing hot, poisonous gases and ash up into the air. As Earth cooled, Rain fell from the clouds, but the surface was still so hot that the water turned to vapor and rose back up into the sky. This made the clouds thicker and shielded the earth from the sun's scorching rays. Earth cooled even more, and its surface became wrinkled with deep folds that created mountains and valleys. After thousands of years, earth had cooled enough that water stayed on the surface creating oceans, rivers, lakes, and streams. Then it rained, and it rained, for a very long time. The rains created more steam clouds that rose into the air, further protecting the planet from the harsh rays of the new sun. This allowed the Earth to become even cooler still. When the Earth was around 3 billion years old, the surface had cooled enough to form a thin, solid crust. Until one day, there was a flash of light that struck the elements on the surface and created the exact conditions necessary for the very first life to begin. But that's a story for another day. This glossary will help you with definitions and explanations for some of the harder words in this book. This STEAM activity includes all the instructions for a follow-up to the birth of the universe story. This is a sample of the activity that the students will complete as a follow-up. This is the black line master that you'll need to complete the student activity. Thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and sharing my channel. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you may contact me via my hotmail. I'd really like to hear from you.